I was younger and I was competing in Olympic Taekwondo, like I was always in shape because I was training all the time. Right. So I was always in shape and I just fought at my walk around. Most people did. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was, it was different when I started, you know, like having to cut for like, you know, this, this upcoming or this, uh, Muay Thai fight because, uh, I knew what weight I was going to cut or I was going to fight at, but then I still had that mentality of fight at the weight you're, you walk at your, your, your healthy weight you walk at, like your strong weight you walk at. Right. So I was keeping my weight close to what I needed to be. And then I would just cut water weight just to make up any difference. Mm-hmm. But I think I ended up weighing in like half a pound below 120, mm-hmm. like my what I was supposed to weigh in at. Like, I think I stepped on the scale at 121.5 or six or seven, so- something. And I was just like, in my head, like, what the <laughs> why am I so what? And I'm like, is this right? You oh, know, you, you, step you, off. you were trying to cut down. Uh, but then finally, when you stepped on a scale, you only dropped like half a half a pound. Is that it? Oh no, it was the opposite. So like, I knew I was going to fight it like, or I wanted to fight at 56 kilos. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's what I was planning on. Okay. I'm going to hang out at like pretty close to that. My plan was to hang out close to that. Like as far as my walk around weight. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was expecting to maybe when I stepped on the scale, be like, you know, this was like the week before the fight. Cause that's when I was going to make up any, anything I had to, I thought I was going to be a couple pounds over. Mm-hmm. And when I stepped on the scale, I ended up like a half a pound under what I needed to be. And this was still a week out. And I I was expecting that I needed to be, I was expecting that I would need to cut like two pounds. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh, it's still a week out. I'm like half a pound less. Like what is going on here? Like I just drank like an entire liter of water two seconds ago, like in training and like, what is going on here? So uh, I was like, well, at least I don't have to worry about not making weight. Right. (laughs) <laughs> so, you know, then the fight came and, and, um, I did not feel good during the fight, like physically, like, uh, as far as cardio goes, but, uh, after that is when I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to not worry about my weight anymore and just eat what I've been eating and keep training. But then the weight kept, you know, going down and I was just like panicked because I was just, my face was just, I don't know if you, there's a couple of vlogs I posted. Mm -hmm. um on my channel like and my face just looked like a skeleton dude it was just it was it was frightening so I stopped training for like a week or two and then just tried to stuff my face dude (laughs) I was like I need calories cookies bring me the candy like give me some meat I don't care I was just stuffing my face trying to get my energy because I had no energy and then you know it was uh even scarier is that my appetite was gone Mm. so I was drop. I was losing all this weight and then my appetite just wasn't there like I was like I should be starving what is going on what is, I, I mean there's it could have been something else I might have caught some kind of like parasite or bug that I wasn't used to because it's you know Thailand and I'm from the U.S. we have different you know bacteria and bugs yeah, and all that yeah, stuff definitely mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so and I was like eating at, at local places um it could have been something like that. It may not have been like my eating, not eating enough, who knows? Like, but this is just what happened to me, my experience with it. But, uh, my my long winded rant of a 30 minute tangent is basically that. Yeah. Be careful if you, when you cut too much weight too, because you might not feel too good. Oh yeah. yeah. And and especially (laughs) like if, if you have, like, I think that you have to be in shape. So you can't be like overweight and trying to lose that fat as you enter fight camp. Right. But I think that a safe way to go about it is 10 pounds. I think for, from, from my understanding as of now is about 10 pounds water weight for your, uh, you know, for, for your competition. So let's say if you have to weigh in at uh, 125, right. For your, for your fight, then, you know, you could be at, let's say at, at most maybe 135, you know, like pretty lean. And then after that, you just cut the, the, the water off. So you could probably do that 10 pounds, uh, you know, like, um, a few days before kind of thing. And then that's, 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 if you, you weigh in the day before the fight, if you weigh in the day of the fight, 
it doesn't make any sense anymore. Cause I did that yeah. once for a BJJ competition. I cut 10 pounds in one week uh, with this little protocol that my coach at the time gave me. And man, I had abs like for the first time in my life, it was like, wow, really defined and everything. And I lost all my fights because I didn't have the energy and I was cramping up because I was dehydrated mm -hmm. and the weigh in was the day of. So that was like, okay, that was an exercise in fertility. Uh, not fertility, <laughs> a few, am I pronouncing that Futility. right? Yeah, Futility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, what was the point of that? I should have just fought at my walking weight, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, if you're going to, if you're going to fight, uh, if you're going to weigh in the same day of the fight, that doesn't make sense, you know, uh, to, to cut water weight the day before, uh, if you weigh in the day before of the fight, that could be an option. But the thing is like, I might be like, I was 155 about, um, uh, about a month ago. And then I started um, eating a lot less meat. I was experimenting with veganism. And one day I stepped on the scale and I was like, well, I'm 145 now. I just dropped like 10 pounds, you know? And my weight category, I was fighting at 73 kilos. So that's like 160, you know? And I was 155. So I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine, you know? But I wasn't, I wasn't planning on going down to, uh, to, to, to one, 145. 145 is the next, um, the next division down 66 kilos. And now I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fight at uh, 66, you know? And yeah, I'm not gonna cut down to the next, uh, you know, I could, but I mean, like I'm 42 and I've never done that. You know, like, how do you say, I never, I never cut it weight that way. And I'm not sure if I want to experiment with that or not. I would have to cut like the next, Next level down is, uh, let's see here. I'm using my calculator because for an Asian guy, math, <laughs> not that great. I don't know why. Okay, so let, let me see here. Um, next one down is, it would be 132. So I would have to drop, uh, you know, essentially 145 to 132. So that means uh, 13 pounds and and I don't have a lot of body fat, man. I'm like at 10% body fat right now. So, but there's also the, um, the, uh, the, the idea that when you have muscles are, are made like 70% water anyway. So the more muscle you have, the more water you could cut, but does that mean it's healthy? Of course not. It's not healthy, you know, but is a 13 pound uh, weight cut water weight that I'm, I, 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 I would cut to get into the next weight. Is it even worth it? You know? I mean, there's no money involved. It's judo. No, nah, man. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to suffer like the day before or two days before or even three days before, depending on how I decide to do it. If I decide to do it uh, uh, a la crazy, you know, then that would be the day before just sauna up and just, uh, and then, you know, just walk up there and crawl onto the scale. Or if I do it a couple of days uh, before, then it's, a, uh, it's probably going to be about a three-day process from, from, what I, from what I understand about weight cutting. But then I'm like, do I want to put myself through that? Like, you know, for, 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 there's not even money involved and for judo competition, you know, you know what? I'm going to stay at 145. So that, that has to be factored in also, right? Like, uh, or, okay, are you doing this? You know, does it really give you an advantage? Is it worth it for you? Everyone, everybody's yeah. goals and, and this and that are different. So yeah, all that to say that uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to fight at 145. That's, that's fine. You know? And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I personally like, I, if someone was like, you're going to cut 10 pounds of water weight, I'd be like, have you seen how my size, dude, I, that's like, I don't know, 10% of my body weight, like, <laughs> or not 10%, but like, you know, that that's a good percent of my body weight, right? I'm like, I'm not cutting I, for my size. I cut maybe five, maybe mm -hmm. five pounds of, of water weight. Cause it's all, it's all scale, right? Mm -hmm. um, the bigger you are, the more water you have that you can cut, the smaller you are, the less you have that mm -hmm. you can cut if we're talking about if ever if we just fit guys we're, we're considering here yeah so someone my size i i couldn't no way i there's no way i would cut i'd feel i'd die i don't know <laughs> i mean yeah, my yeah, walk around but, weight like mm -hmm. yeah just, and when you, I, i'd cut yeah go ahead oh sorry and I, I was just gonna say that like if you if you're dehydrated your performance is gonna be it's gonna tank you're not gonna right. be as sharp and because you're dehydrated, it, your brain is also dehydrated as well, right? Not just like your, your muscles and all that. And supposedly that even that 
that leaves you more susceptible to concussions. You can get concussed a lot easier. And even your decision-making process, your reflexes, everything is off. You're not as, you're not as sharp, man. You know, so is it even worth it to, you know, to, to go through that? Like, uh, you right. know, the weight cutting, because weight cutting is not a, a healthy thing. That's why there's no, they don't teach that in school. You know, like if you're a, a sports, uh, uh, something, something student, you know, doctor or whatever, they don't teach you how to weight cut. Like weight right. cut is kind of something we just, you know, we do because everyone wanted to have an upper, uh, an advantage over their opponent. Right. Kind of like, right. Now you have to, if you don't want a disadvantage, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's cheating. So we got to cheat too. So, you know, uh, that's, that's what it is.